So this is the pathophysiology of sideroblastic anemia. Sideroblastic anemia is actually a uh, defect in heme synthesis. Anything that, uh, that, that, uh, that affects hemoglobin or heme synthesis is going to cause a microcytic anemia, okay? So uh, we're going to, okay, so, so, so uh, sideroblastic anemia is a defect in heme synthesis. This and, and it occurs, and heme synthesis occurs in the precursor red blood cell. So this huge circle outside represents the precursor red blood cell. Precursor red blood cell has a nucleus and has a whole bunch of mitochondria around it. This small circle that I drew here is going to represent the mitochondrion, okay? Heme synthesis occurs in a loop that starts inside of the mitochondrion. The products come out of the mitochondrion. There is a few more reactions and then those products go back in the mitochondrion to make him, okay? It starts with succinyl coenzyme A and glycine. Succinyl coenzyme A is a, is a, is a product of degradation of, what, of number carbon, hydrocarbons, I think, or, or, uh, or fatty acids. Anyway, what happens is that succinyl coenzyme A and glycine are inside of the mitochondrion, and they combine, and uh, they combine to make a product called gamma amino levulinic acid. This is catalyzed by the enzyme amino levulinic acid synthase 2, but I'm going to abbreviate it amino levulinic acid synthase 2. Okay? This product, gamma amino levulinic acid, that's inside of the mitochondria right now, is going to come out of the mitochondria. We're going to go through uh, a few more reactions catalyzed by other enzymes. We get uh, porphobilinogen, then it's converted to uroporphobilinogen. Uroporphyrin, uh, uroporphyrinogen 3, then that becomes copoporphyrinogen 3. That then, that then goes back into the mitochondrion catalyzed by another enzyme here, and that forms protoporphyrin, okay? Protoporphyrin is the proto conversion of protoporphyrin to heme is the last step in, in, the, uh, in heme synthesis, and, uh, and, and the way it goes is that protoporphyrin is combined with iron, uh, to make him by the enzyme ferrochelatase. Now, iron is like cat sex. Heme synthesis is really like cat sex. So the way it works is that he, is that iron. Um, have you ever heard that in cat sex, like the cat, the cat puts it in, but it cannot pull it out before he's done with like whatever he's doing. Same thing with iron. Iron comes inside of the mitochondrion, but it cannot leave the mitochondrion and let, unless it comes out with, in him. Okay. So him can come out of the mitochondrion when it has iron in it, but iron, without making him, iron cannot be, come back out of the mitochondrion, it gets trapped in there, okay? Now, sideroblastic anemia is caused by a defect in this enzyme, in ALAS2 enzyme, because this enzyme here, ALAS2 is bad, this product doesn't get made, this whole thing doesn't get made, protoporphyrin doesn't get made, but since iron has no problem going inside of the mitochondria, it just gets trapped in there because it cannot come out. It cannot combine with protoporphyrin, therefore it cannot make him, and iron gets trapped inside of the mitochondrion. What happens? Happens that you end up with a whole bunch of precursor red blood cells that are huge, that have a huge nucleus, and have a whole bunch of mitochondrion of mitochondria around it that are full of iron that got trapped in there. These are your sideroblasts. Uh, okay. So that's uh, pathophysiology of sideroblastic anemia. It causes uh, microcytic anemia.